Supplies and food for Backpack Buddies. We've got all the details coming up, so stick with us. Back to school time just around the corner, and not all families can afford back to school supplies, but there is a way you can help out. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at Backpack Buddies in Garden City to explain. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. Yeah, we're packing up uh, school supplies and we're packing up food. It's kind of a, a dual thing that you guys do here for Backpack Buddies. And I'm on the assembly line and I think I'm learning the ropes. We've got one of each going into the bag. That's right. And yep. the thing about this is this goes along with the supplies that you hand out at the beginning of the year. But this food is what the kids have to eat for the weekend. This Let's is what they have for the weekend. That. Yeah. So um, there's 3,100 children. At, uh, in our program. We go out to different schools throughout Horry County. And this is the food that they have to eat on the weekends. Some children, this is all they have to eat on the weekends. Because in school they get breakfast and lunch. But now it comes to be Friday and they're going home. So we put these in their backpack discreetly on the weekends. And then they have something to eat. So when they come back to school Monday morning, they're not famished and they can maybe begin to get ready and go. Yeah, and to, just to, to think about that, this is the only food that they might have, but it's wonderful that you guys are here providing that, and you do it every weekend. There's every, a lot of kids, too. 3,105 children. That's, that's yeah. unbelievable, and there could be even more this year. We're anticipating probably an increase, because oh, wow. every year we seem to get an increase. Okay, and how do you guys get all this food? Well, we have grants that we get from different organizations. We do food drives every month at the Garden City and the Surfside Walmart. Matter of fact, we have one coming up this Saturday. We're always looking for volunteers to help us do that. Uh, it's a two-hour time frame that if you come and you can help us at the doors or pack the van and gather this food. And again, it's different companies give us grants. Uh, people just drop off food. They donate it here in Garden City. Uh, very, very, uh, very important that the people get the food to us. Yeah, we need the food. Very important because all this food goes to the kids, and um, I feel confident that I could help train your new volunteers. Am I doing good I so far? I think you're doing a great job. Line? Absolutely, right. absolutely. <laughs> there we go. So we've got the food and the school supplies, and all these kids are getting ready to go back to school, guys. Good. Well, kids need to have a meal. They can't concentrate. Of course, studies show that it's much harder for them to get through their schoolwork and the class uh, day without a great meal. You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Crystal Costa, Jack Lamson, meteorologist Maddie Kirker, and Amanda Kinson. Welcome back. It is nearly 551 on your Monday morning as we creep closer and closer to the start of school uh, once again. Unbelievable. On average, it costs parents hundreds of dollars to get their kids ready to head back to school. But for some families who can't afford it, a local organization is making sure kids still get some of the supplies they need. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzith is live in Garden City at Backpack Buddies with details on how you can help. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, and we're packing up some backpacks, and we've got some lovely assistants with us this morning. They're kind of showing me the ropes, so I just take a couple of these, throw them in here. All right, so talk a little bit about this. I mean, more than 3,000 backpacks will go out this year to kids who need supplies. That's correct. This is our Help for Kids Backpack Buddies program. What we do is we fill these backpacks, over 3,000, and get them out to the children, either at their churches or schools or sometimes just where they live, depending on how we need to do that. But we make sure every child gets a backpack every year. And these are also the backpacks that they use to put the food in every Friday when the children are in school. And again, that's done discreetly. Teachers do it when the children are not in the room. But yes, we give them pencils, pens, notebooks, binders, glue, all the different things you see here. Plus, we give them some hygiene products as well, which are very important. Right now, we're in need of three-inch binders. We're very yeah, and short I want to show that off. It's three-inch binders. So we've got the one-and-a-half-inch here, but you need the, the big ones, the, bigger the ones. three inch. The schools are requiring those this year. Okay. Yes. Yep. And, and so if people, how can people help? Where, where can they drop these off? They can drop these off right here in Garden City at the Help for Kids. It's right on the Bypass 17 or right behind uh, in the storage units behind Lamp Niche and uh, Bet we're Betting World, is it? Yeah, the Betting Garden World. City Storage yeah. Unit. Garden, here, over here. Garden City Storage Unit. You can check unit, out right the website, here. too. The address yep. is on there. And yep. then talk about volunteers. We've got some volunteers bright and early this morning. We do, and these three lovely ladies have packed many, many backpacks this year, girls. What do you think? Have you had a good time doing that? Yeah, they've been a huge help to us. 
Uh, they also helped load up the van on Friday, and hundreds and hundreds of backpacks have already gone out. But we thank these young ladies for coming in and helping us. They've been a huge help to us this year. Yeah, and is there an opportunity for more people to volunteer? Yes, there is. We have actually, our main goal every year is for the food. We have to put food in these backpacks every year. So we're having this Saturday, Garden City Walmart, Surfside Walmart. We really need volunteers. We're very short. We're there all day, and we collect a whole van of food at each store. Food. And really yeah. for a good cause. Yep. So get out there and help. You know, you're helping the kids in our area, guys. I love it. What a great idea, too. Not only do they get these great backpacks and supplies, they get to use it every Friday when they need a little food on the weekend, which you know makes them a better student. So that's great. Absolutely nothing like a study snack. Oh, yeah. We Absolutely. all need those. Yeah. <laughs> We're packing up backpacks with school supplies for kids in Horry County, and they also come with a bag full of food. We'll talk about that next. Stick with us. A dry weekend before the kids get back to school. A lot of them heading back next week not this week and it's very soon for them and backpack buddies gives out food packages every weekend during the school year to over 3,000 hungry kids throughout Horry County. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinsett is live at Backpack Buddies in Garden City to explain. Good morning Amanda. Good morning yeah you know we've been packing up backpacks full of school supplies and then every Friday the teachers slip discreetly one of these packages full of food into the backpacks for these kids who might not have other food over the weekend. And so that's what we're packing up now are some of those food bags. Yes. It's really yeah. crucial for these kids. We have 3,000, last year we had 3,105 children that we did that for every single week. Yeah. Every Friday we do that so that they have food. Some of these children go home and they don't have any food on the weekend. So we make sure they do that so they don't come back to school on Monday hungry. Yeah. They can concentrate on their schoolwork at that point. And one of the important things in the bag is this Vienna sausage. Kids love this stuff. They do. They do. <laughs> they love this. They are protein. Yeah, it's, it's a protein good inside. Of protein. And exactly. we're doing a Vienna sausage campaign right now. We need 124,000 cans of these. That's That'll a lot feed of them cans. for one year. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they love thousand. it too, and they will yeah. eat it. And, and it's so you've important. got it over here, but we need this like way up here, right? Yes. This stack. Yes. So, what can people do? They can pick up boxes of this and bring it to you guys? Yeah, they can bring it here at uh, Help for Kids in, in Garden City. Um, if you go to our website, www.help, H E L P, number four, kids, K I D S S C dot org. Um, there's places that you can drop it, uh, different places that you can drop it to. Okay, and if you want to get more food for them, well, then bring it on because just think about some of these kids. This might be the only food that they have all weekend, so we right. want to keep them healthy. We're having food drives at once a month. Our next food drive is August 19th, August 16th, and at Walmart in Garden City and Walmart in Surfside. And we could actually use some help coming up if you want to come and volunteer. There you go. Yeah. Volunteer and help out these kids, helping them uh, through the through the school day, through the weekends, and get that Vienna sausage in, guys. I love that. Amanda Kins is out live in Garden City. We'll check in with her one more time. On average, it costs parents hundreds of dollars to get their kids ready to head back to school. But for some families who can't afford it, a local organization is making sure kids get all the school supplies they need. And that's where we find WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzit live in Garden City this morning at Backpack Buddies, talking about all the food they hand out and the school supplies as well. Amanda? That's right, food and school supplies going to Horry County students and uh, really a great thing that they've got going on here. And I've got some fantastic helpers this morning up early. What made you, what makes you want to do this? Help out and volunteer. Um, basically for to help the kids so they have school supplies. And you're starting up at school pretty soon. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a good answer. And, you know, you pack up these bags. You give them to more than 3,000 students in the county. We do. And really a lot of need out there. And um, you fill them with food every weekend, mm -hmm. giving these kids food that they might not otherwise eat. And you also have something pretty neat. It's called Sponsor a Child that people can uh, help out with. Yes. If you want to help us out in, as far as getting food for the kids, we have a, a Sponsor a Child program. How that works is if you go to the website, www.help, number four, for KIDSSC.org, we have a form on there under Donate, and you can click on that, and for $120 a year, we feed a child. So you can either give us a one payment of $120, or you can do $10 a month, whatever is best for you. We can work that out for you. $10 a month, and just think about that, you are feeding a child for an entire year. Otherwise, for the year. 
you know, and that's that's important. And it's great that you guys have people always donating as well. People can drop off school supplies and backpacks and, and food. You've got the Vienna sausage, sausage drive going on. We have a Vienna sausage drive going on. We need 124,000 cans for the year. So we could use your help on that. Um, and as far as dropping off food, on the website is a list of food that we use to put in the backpacks. There's specific food that we need. So if you uh, go to the website, you can find out which food we need, too. Sure, and you've got stuff like, like Easy Mac, which is one of my personal favorites to cook for <laughs> myself, too. Um, so I'm sure the kids enjoy it. And you've got uh, pudding and then the Vienna sausages, also yeah. a very good thing because of the protein. And, and we have uh, a food drive going on. Yes. Uh, August 16th at the Walmart um, in Garden City, Walmart in um, Surfside. And we could use some help volunteering at that, so uh, you can either call us at 651 4310, that's area code 843, or go to the website and help us out. Yeah, and you guys are out at, you know, the Walmarts and the stores monthly, so people, if they see you, hey, get, get a little extra food and you can give it to you. And I just want to say how awesome you girls have been doing all morning. They've actually been working hard, and you've been volunteering for a while. How'd you get into this? Um, well, my grandma first started volunteering here, and then I started helping her with the um, farmer's market. Okay, and so you're kind of the professional now, you know, ex I, I've heard her, she knows exactly what needs to go into the backpack, she's like, nope, that one's missing a folder, and we need a three-ring binder in there, so commendable work right there, and, and I challenge everybody, you know, they've got these drives going all the time, I challenge anyone watching to find a backpack cooler than this and drop it off, I don't know if you can tell, but this one lights up pretty cool, guys. It just used to be the shoes that lit up. I was just going to say, I remember like wanting the light up sneakers of so course. bad. Was now pretty, you never get, get lost. Packs that light up. That is genius. And again, they're having that food drive that's at the Garden City Walmart. And if you'd like to volunteer, she said they could use a little bit of help with that. Give them a call at 651 4310. Really for a great cause out there.